On the April 6, 2012 edition of WWE SmackDown, a new star emerged. This time, he sported a new beard with new wrestling attire and looked noticeably different from the last time the WWE Universe had seen him. Ryan Reeves was given opportunities by the WWE in the past. He was a participant in the 2004 season of Tough Enough and even found himself on the WWE television programming in 2010 when he became a member of the emerging heel stable, Nexus. Unfortunately for Ryan Reeves, an ankle injury was suffered at a Raw house show late in 2011, and this would cause him to be sidelined without any guarantee that he would be back. However, if you fast forward a year, Ryan Reeves was given a second chance with the WWE. This time, Ryback was born. Ryback possessed a very unique look that Vince McMahon is historically fond of. And some people would say that Ryback's new look is exactly what led him to many big feuds right off the bat. Despite his look, the taunts, and the crowd chants, the Ryback character was never fully able to shine. This is the part where many WWE fans would say Ryback was just simply not ready. Social media timelines filled with fans being very vocal about Ryback's in-ring ability, while the crowds at WWE live events were often chanting Goldberg when Ryback had appeared. As a babyface, the Feed Me More chant and Wake Up Taunt really helped elevate Ryback's connection to the WWE Universe. However, on the other hand, fans had to let it be known that there was a strong resemblance between Ryback and the former WCW legend. Because of this, Ryback's television and pay-per-view bouts were always interrupted with strong chants that would flood the arena. The WWE Universe never gave Ryback a chance. Ryback was given the opportunity to feud with CM Punk for the prestigious WWE Championship belt, and therefore became involved in a storyline that involved Vince McMahon, Jim Ross, and John Cena. Eventually, John Cena removes himself from the opportunity for the belt, which would then allow Ryback to solely compete against CM Punk at Hell in a Cell in a Hell in a Cell match. There were many times in this match that Ryback neared a victory, but thanks to a low blow and fast count by the referee Brad Maddox, Ryback was screwed out of his biggest match of all time. And this is when the momentum had completely shifted. WWE's creative decision to not put the title on Ryback left many fans curious as to why he was pushed massively to begin with, only for them to decide that he's just not championship material. Although Ryback may not have been the best at cutting promos or delivering 5 star matches, it was no secret that his presence alone was probably worth the gamble. But then came WrestleMania 29. Mark Henry wins in embarrassing fashion as Ryback failed to attempt a shell shock finishing move. The big question mark here, why was Ryback all of a sudden able to do the move after the match? Just didn't make sense. Ryback was then relegated to the WWE Tag Team Division, in which he found himself partnering with Curtis Axel. The character had developed quite a bit as Ryback had found himself bullying backstage employees and became more of a serious heel. Ryback and Axel competed in a Fatal 4-Way for the tag titles on a WrestleMania pre-show, only for them to be unsuccessful with the Usos retaining. Ryback went from working with big names like CM Punk and John Cena, to eventually suffering defeat at the hands of Kalisto on the WrestleMania 32 pre-show. Ryback at this point had already lost all parts of his momentum and was never truly over with the WWE Universe. Despite carrying the IC title for 112 days at one point in his WWE run, many people will consider Ryback's run a failure. In 2016, WWE announced that Ryback had been released in which Ryback had come out and said negative things about the WWE with their pay structure and their creative process. When the WWE Universe looks back at the career of Ryback, they question whether or not WWE should have pulled the trigger and allowed Ryback to capture the WWE Championship right off the get-go. Would things be different? Would Ryback have been a better star for the WWE? Ultimately, Ryback had the million dollar look, but with his in-ring ability and mic skills being subpar, it was apparent that the WWE Universe would not be willing to accept this character. And that is what went wrong with Ryback.